Hi everyone, this is Inter Michael from Screen Reviews, bringing you a new podcast from myself called The Vorto Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to be too hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will retain your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will retain to your adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means you've got to watch this audio podcast recording. Now, with this and everything out the way, let's get into the latest episode of Borto. So, basically, Borto was right in front of the gate, waiting for Kessar. <laughs> And catch him to explain himself why he killed Bartha and in that rich dude. So basically, while while Volta was waiting by the gate, you, you know, Shao and Shao and Yasa, Yasa, Yasa was carrying the monk back to back to you know back to the room, back into the holding room to treat his room. So basically, Walk was there as well, right on the bunk bench in the holding room back to and. You know, and that uh, that other was a uh, hope, you know, let them, you know, let them sleep out and whatnot. So anyway, Shao, uh, Shao, Asa, uh, Shao, Yasa, 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 about four toes. So basically, you know, you know, so basically they took it, they, uh, about the monk dude, the monk dude, Nama, uh, Nama, Nama, I believe that's his name is. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Man. So basically, Shao went to go. So basically, you know, Shao, the the voice from the stone, the ninja from the stone, with it, you know, went to go to walk the fugitive who was laying down in the bus. It's about the whole Kessel and Volto situation that you know we believe that Kessel is a traitor and whatnot. So walk and then. And decides to go back and, and go help Volto with this trader situation with Kessa. So basically, Kessa showed up at the gate while that was going on. Kessa showed up at the gate, and Volto was the answer was trying to get some answers for him. So basically, Kessa with a real serious cocky look, he's like, you know, oh. So basically, Volto said, like, you know, we found your we found your communication device. So basically, are you working for Anga and whatnot? And basically, he did not answer. And he, so basically, Kessa did not answer. He just responded with a laugh and started to run for Borta. So basically, while well, that was happening, you know, uh, not not the monk decided to stay behind and keep the door open that was uh, that was covering the gateway to to hold the gate hold the gateway door open and, and allow the others to go chase after chase after you know Borto and take down that traitor Cassant. So anyway, meanwhile in the meanwhile meanwhile Borto's team was tra- was trapped was chasing after a dude with a mask who who is a black op. Two more black ops showed up and basically inspired the whole situation to what the hell is going on. So basically, they believe that, you know, we are, we are, we are, we are black, and there are black, black, black ops on, you know, do, having a investigation and whatnot. So basically, they they basically, basically, you know, looking for Anda or whatnot, and all, all the people that been disappearing lately. So basically, these group, these this group of black ops are looking for Anga. So basically, they so basically they saying that Anga is a is an outer member of of the com of the care of the care organization. So basically, like you know, the women. They asked about Kessa. Kessa, they said that Kessa is also a is also a, also working for them to try to take down Aga. So basically, Kessa is 
basically a good guy. So basically, why that me? Well, I've got to tell about this. We're getting, we're talking to these ops and getting all, all this information. You know, boy, tell him about chase. You know, catch up to to a cave with they start to fight and whatnot. So basically, so basically, you know, we're tired to fight catch up, but after being hit by the Rosanna, you know, he was badly hurt, and they could catch up, make some short, make short work on him, basically he beat, he defeated him, at, you know, just defeated Cat. See it work after he got hit by by, by Bolton's vagina in the previous fight and basically make sure I work him. Just take him down, that's it about it. Didn't kill him and whatnot. So basically Borto followed Kessop and what and what he saw and uh tried to follow uh tried to follow Kessop. so basically Borto was still to you know chasing after Kessop. Kessop caught up with 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 she with she uh 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 yeah yeah and sha and Shao and basically got into a fight with them, you know, and basically, you know, they fought for a minute and whatnot, and basically, you know, Boruto showed up, what, once again, once again, started to fight catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up you know, started to run again, but during the fight between Yao san and, and Shao, a scroll of his mission, about, about, you know, entertaining, you know, Anger, you know, Anger, you know, about his mission, about, you know, finding Anger and stopping him and getting some information out of that Anger about out of his topic. So basically, you know, basically Ketsa had, Ketsa had a, had a score of what it's mission to find and got information about Anger and take him down and report that information back and take, and take him down and free all the people that he captured for his experience. So basically, so basically, you know, after, you know, Yasan and, Yasa and, and Shao with the wing scroll, you know, she, you know, Shao was, Shao was, Shao went to go find Boruto cause, you know, Yasa was too a little beat up to go chase us to Boruto and explain this whole situation. So basically, you know, so basically, you know, turns out that, you know, turns out that, turns out, uh, turns out, uh, according to his, his supervisor op, his supervisor who is the one of the members of the black ops that is talking to, his, to Boruto's team, that he's not under, He's not allowed to reveal his identity about his mission and whatnot to anybody. <laughs> so basically, you know, Kesson refused, you know, he's on orders not to reveal his identity or to anybody, to anybody and also his mission as well. So basically, you know, Borto did not know what the hell was going on, that Kesson was a good guy and whatnot. So basically, they started to fight, and basically, you know, Shao showed up, you know, basically, he got some damage from from, you know, from Ketsa's fire start YouTube into the back, and basically, Shao show him, show him the, the scroll, to proving that Ketsa is a common, not an enemy. So basically, like, you know, so since now, since now, everybody knows that, knows about Ketsa, identity, him being the op, and you know about his mission now, he decided to conclude with everybody. He's like, you know, this put, uh, uh, like, you know, this push is not real. This is all, uh, this, uh, this is all a big fake. <laughs> this is all a fake world. So basically, he stabbed Borto, and he did a release and told him that, you know, we're under a genju shoe. So basically, once he stabbed Borto, he felt some deep pain, and Basically, you know, and, and you know, and, and basically, Kesha did a release to you know, to break Boruto free from this dingy to and and Boruto woke up in the real world in this pod. He pod from the Genjutsu, he was in this pod this whole time. So basically, nobody died. It was all a big Genjutsu. So basically, he like everybody from the train or the people that under capture were all in this 
they were only forced all in these pods on their against you too. And basically this had the episode in with Balto realizing that, you know, that, that Kesson was right. You know, this is all a bit, a bit fake. <laughs> And realizing that cat, you know, realizing the truth, is like, you know, and and with leave that, that nobody really died, as we know from the skin issue. So anyway, so anyway, this had the episode in it. So anyway, so anyway, this was a good episode. So basically, you know, so basically, it's all been a, is all so basically, Boruto was stuck in a fake world under a Genji suit by Anga. So uh, none of this was real. So we, none, none of the death of these people were real, you know. But we don't know, you know. We don't know that for sure, you know. Genji it was a bit tricky, you know. People could get hurt in Genji suits, but you know, we just have to wait and see about that. But otherwise, this was a good episode. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just okay? Please let me know. Anyway, sign off. One.